Okay, uh, students will often ask how to create the energy graphs for the uh, launcher project, so I'm going to take a moment and uh, just create a video for this. So when you go to develop your presentation for this, again, you're not you're not presenting it, you're just creating a series of slides. You've got to get your force versus displacement graph, so forth, things like this here. But at some point, you're going to end up having to uh, put in some energy graphs, and I want to show you the tool that's in, in place here to uh, help you uh, describe, uh, create this energy graph. So. Uh, I'm going to go back to, uh, to these things here. So one of the uh, items that you can use is a uh, projectile launcher graph helper. So when you click on this item here, it's going to give you uh, something that looks like so. Now, uh, usually this starts with a bunch of zeros in all these spots. And uh, my goal here is to show you how you might uh, create a set of graphs uh, based, on, um, based on this particular picture. So. Um, on your rubric, and again, uh, sort of moving all around here, but on the rubric, uh, it says that you need to create uh, some energy graphs. E each graph uh, begins with 100 blocks of energy included, uh, and you need to have um, you need to have the various forms of energy present at these various locations. So pull back, release, C is the launch, D is the apex, uh, E is just before it collides with the floor, and F is after it landing. This graph here shows you what those various positions are. So again, A is uh, when you pull that back. You do some work to pull that thing back, and you store that uh, work as elastic potential energy. That's what we mean by B, is that elastic potential energy. C, of course, the object comes out with some form of energy that you're calculating um, from all your measurements that you've made. So when you go to create your launcher, um, your graph helper, uh, what I suggest is that for position A, you always use 100 units of energy storage, and that's done through work. So that W stands for work that you're doing to pull back that launcher. Now, position B is as that launcher is held in place, ready to launch the candy, the energy that you uh, stored is stored as elastic potential energy. So you would have always, for all of your graphs, you would have position A be 100 units of positive work, and position B would then be 100 units of elastic potential energy that exist inside of that launcher. And again, that launcher is, uh, is here, so that's position B, the energy stored as EPE. Now, <clears throat> when it comes out of the launcher, I'm, I'm sure that you realize that the energy that comes out is kinetic. It's energy of motion. If your efficiency was, uh, let's say your efficiency was 35%, then only 35% um, 35 of the energy you put in was converted to kinetic. The other 65% was lost, and we would say that that's done through negative work, and the amount of that work would be 65, so that the total, again, adds to 100. Okay, so again, that would be positions A, B, and C for your, uh, for your launcher. That's assuming 35% efficiency. Now, as you go through and do the rest of these things, position D is it's at its apex. Position E is right before it hits the ground. Position F is as it, as it hits the ground and it comes to a rest. So what you would be expected to do then is you fill in the rest of these table, the rest of these values in those spots. So position D, E, and F. Um, are, my check here is to see that you understand how that energy transforms in the various types at the various locations. So uh, I'm going to ask you to complete D, E, and F. Well, you'll have to do C as well, depending on what your efficiency is. Uh, but do these uh, do these for your other for your two candies. And then when you're done, just make sure you take a picture of this particular graph and place that in your uh, in your um, presentation in this particular area. And again, group member A has has their own set of, of candies and group, num group letter B, uh, as well as descriptions, right? So don't forget that you have to include some description of the energy flow. And then person B would have their set of graphs as well. And these graphs should be different because all of you will have different efficiencies uh, for your various candies. I hope this video is helpful for you to create those energy graphs.